Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about my soloing process and how I would think about playing over White Room as recorded by Cream. Now I already have a lesson on my channel where I broke down how to play a main rhythm guitar part through this entire song. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure to watch that video because it's super important to know the chord progression that you're playing over and how it all comes together. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about my process, about how I would think about playing over this chord progression, and I'm gonna give you some exact action steps, some scales that you can play, and even three different licks that you can use to drop in and just solo with. But before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack. And if you've been following along with my channel and you haven't gotten these tabs yet, you really wanna get this free download because it's gonna make learning from my YouTube videos so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's dive into this soloing lesson. Let's talk about soloing over White Room as recorded by Cream. Now we're gonna be playing over the main progression to that song, and it sounds like this. So we have this very common classic rock progression from a D5 down to a C sus2 to a G over B, and then we do this quick walk up B flat C a very common classic rock sounding chord progression. So it's only two bars long. Now looking at this right away, when I see like a D chord like this, and the song's in the key of D, and then you immediately go down to that C, which is a whole step below, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what's called a pentatonic sound. And that scale could be played up here at the 10th fret. It would look like this. So that's what you call your minor pentatonic, D minor pentatonic, because I'm starting that on the root note there of a D, which is the 10th fret of the low E. And I just go up 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, and then 10, 13, 10, 13. So that's my pentatonic scale in that one position. And we're gonna primarily just focus right there. We'll move up a little bit. But that's where I would start is with that minor pentatonic scale. Now if I play the chord progression into a looper pedal and then just play a little bit of a solo just using those notes, you can hear what it sounds like. So let me play the progression again. Here we go, three, four, and. That's my progression. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now what I'm gonna do is improvise just using those notes that I showed you. Now I may bend some of them, but I'm gonna try and stay purely pentatonic. Here we go. <laughs> So that's an idea of how you can use that sound. And notice that I wasn't really like playing the scale, like, okay, here's my solo. I was trying to come up with little phrases and I think bending notes in the pentatonic is a great idea, like. Just a little simple lick that really is using 10 to 13, maybe some pull-offs and some cool embellishments. And that's gonna sound great over that chord progression. So that would be the first thing you could try. Now the next thing you can do is start to incorporate some blues. And that's gonna be adding one note to that scale. So instead of It's gonna become 
So what I did was add what's called a flat five. That note right there. And then up the octave. Now, I kind of think of these scales as the same thing in my mind, like minor pentatonic and blues. I'm, I'm going back and forth, and it's really just a sound to me. So let me give you an example of incorporating some of those more bluesier sounds and basically that one new note in the scale. <laughs> So I'm trying to be real deliberate there and just, you know, make sure that I'm accenting that note in the scale. And that immediately, you can hear it gives you a bluesier sound. So those would be two scale choices that I would start. And what I would do is just put on the looper and see if you can just create simple melodies. It could be very simple, something like this. Doesn't have to be a lot of notes, like. Like that was just three notes. Okay, so that would be more of just a general improvising uh, process. Now from there, you wanna develop some vocabulary and work on some licks. So let me show you three licks here that are in the style of Eric Clapton. The first one is gonna use some unison bends. It's gonna sound like this. So that's going to be a bend here on the 12th fret of the 3rd string, but I'm going to be holding down the 10th fret on the 2nd string. Then I'm going to release the bend, and then 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2. So that's a bend, then 10, then 12 on the 4th string. Then. 10, 12, 12, 10. So it sounds like this in that last bar. Adding a little bit of a rhythm to it. So you've got the unison bands and then a cool little, you can see those notes. What's that? It's D minor pentatonic. Okay, so that scale is being used right in the middle of that line. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the lick over the chord progression. Now let's take a look at phrase two. This is a similar lick, but this breaks the rules a little bit, and this is what I want to start to introduce you to, is you've got the pentatonic scale, of course, as you know an available pool of notes, but a lot of times the great players break the rules. So here's an example of that. <laughs> So I started off the same way, one, two, three, four, and then I went, a uh, release a bend, one, two, three, four, and then one and a two -y and a three. So that's just going back and forth there. 12, 11, 12, where the pentatonic would be, but Clapton does this thing sometimes where he uses a half step. Right, and for the third and final lick, we're going to use what's called a repetitive figure. And this is another thing that Clapton does all the time. Here's what it sounds like. Three and four and... So this is moving up higher. We're playing a double stop on the 13th fret, getting both of these notes. Then we're going to hammer from the second string, 13 there, up to 15. Then grab the 13th fret on the first string. And what you want to do is let this all ring. 
as much as you can there. So that's one E and a two E and a three E and a... So three beats of that just playing 16th notes. And then... Clapton does this all the time to sort of get from this position down to that home position, you know, of that D minor pentatonic we talked about. Slide from 14 down to 12, then 10, then 12, 10, 12. So that's on beat four. Now you could extend that and play it really as long as you want, that first part. So that was making it longer, but the idea is you can just get this cool riff, lock into it, and then play it over and over. Congrats on making it through this soloing lesson. Be sure to take your time with this. And one of the things that I would specifically recommend is first get down the rhythm part and try and record yourself playing that. So either using your phone or using a looper pedal and then just practice dropping in some of these exact licks. Just play them note for note like a planned solo over this chord progression. And that's gonna be a great way to start getting some of this vocabulary under your fingers. And before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And you can also just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tabs and you can get these downloads. And it's just gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier. So check that out as my gift to you. Also, let me know in the comments down below what your number one song is that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. This video that I did today came straight out of the comments on the previous video. You all were saying that you wanted to see a lesson on how to solo. So I want to keep bringing you the content that you need. Let me know down below. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in another video real soon.